Why? 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 Why do you want this? Why the f*** do you want this? Why do you want to get assessed for autism? First off, what will the diagnosis change for you? Do you simply seek validation or is this deeper than that? It's worth considering that labels like autism, they don't define us entirely. We're all unique individuals after all, so why this diagnosis specifically? Perhaps you're looking for a better understanding of yourself or a way to explain yourself to others. Maybe you're tired of feeling misunderstood and hope a diagnosis will shed some light on your experiences. But will others truly understand or will they just look at you and not see the poster child for autism and say, nah, that ain't it. Are you hoping for more patience or support from others? Are you looking to join a community of like-minded individuals? You know, your tribe. Are you an advocate for change or are you content to remain silent in the background? Let's talk about the practitioners. Sure, they have years of school and an experience, but they're not perfect. And you should go into it with that understanding. They can misdiagnose and they can also misdiagnose, And they can bring their biases into the practice. So why do you need validation from someone who may not fully understand your unique experiences? And speaking of unique experiences, do you know how hard it's going to be finding someone that looks like you to assess you? Someone who understands what it's like to be black in the United States and our historical differences of treatment when it comes to medical practitioners and their biases they bring towards us. But hell, Dr. Jackie showed you you can't even trust that, so I don't know what you're gonna do. And that tribe that you might be hoping for, have you considered that the way someone else stems might rub you the wrong way? Or simply put, just because you're both autistic, don't expect to be each other's special interests. My intentions aren't to scare you, but to ask the questions I didn't ask myself when I started down this path. I did to myself what some of us can relate to. You know that one friend that knows you're gay and they meet someone else that's gay and says, oh my God, I got the perfect person for you. Nah, we're both just gay. We don't even gay the same way. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Not at all. But I expected my own preferences to just melt away as if I didn't watch enough videos to see that I could relate to others that were on the spectrum, but I recognized 99% of them weren't somebody that was a part of my tribe. They weren't people I would actually hang out with in real life. And just as well, I'm self-aware to know that I'm an acquired taste also. And if you expect the dating to become easier, have you heard of the spectrum of sexuality? What if you discover your ace but really like someone that has a high sex drive? Or what if you're the one who has a high sex drive and you discover that you like somebody that's ace? I want you to remember something for me, okay? That this journey is about you. It's about understanding yourself better, finding your voice, and navigating the world in a way that feels authentic to you. So whether you choose to pursue a diagnosis or not, know that you are not alone and your experiences are valid. So again, what does this diagnosis do for you? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's keep the conversation going. Where, where are my, where are, where are my panties? And don't forget to subscribe. It even comes with free fries. I'll see you in the next video.